Hello everyone, welcome to Jones Axe Survival. I'm going to cook up some supper here tonight. We're going to do venison loin, and I'm going to do it on the charcoal grill. And it doesn't have to get cooked very long on each side once again because it's venison, but it should give it a really good flavor. Okay, so like I said, this here, we're going to do a loin. And uh, once again, this is off that deer that, that I shot this year. I actually wish I would have shot more deer, or Zach or somebody would have, so that we're running out of venison. <laughs> Now this is a loin, so it would be considered a chop, so when we're, when we're cutting, we're going to be cutting chops up. But um, I tell you, back in the, uh, years ago when they used to process these and keep the bone in it, I like that so much better than boneless, but you can't find anybody to process them that way. And I don't have a saw to do it, so anyway, I'm going to cut these into roughly one inch chunks. And what you get here, this round part here, is the actual loin. This is the small end of it. On this one here, I have several packages of these. What I ended up with is, I have seven chops here. And now, this part right here will be something that the person won't want to eat. But I'm going to leave it on there and just cook them just the way that it is right here. Because if I start cutting that apart that's going to fall apart and what am I going to do with that little chunk so I just leave it so the next thing that I want to do is I'm just going to go ahead and put some seasoning on here and I'll do both sides well, I got them seasoned on both sides the next thing I like to do is just get a little bit of oil on them I mean it's drier meat and stuff and I don't put much on but just get some to rub it in there and give something for that barbecue to actually flare up a little bit if it drips down. Well now I'm just going to let these sit while those coals get nice and hot. And we're going to go to the next part. Well originally when I came up I was going to do, I brought a, a bigger venison roast up and I was going to actually do that almost like in a slow cooker but in a pan on the wood stove and just let it cook for a long time and I was going to cut up some vegetables and throw them in there and you know just make kind of like a slow cooker meal but I ended up having too much food that first supper that I made I had lunch for the next day and oh, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to wash this stuff up peel the carrot cut this all up not all, I don't want the whole onion but cut cut it up just put it in a bowl with some water and some spices and throw it on the wood stove and just let this sit and boil and it'll just be <laughs> my version of veg all I guess so I'll get, I'm going to peel this stuff up and we'll get that on the stove. Gonna throw a little grill shakers on there to get it a little bit of flavor. And another thing I'm gonna put in here is some butter so it has at least a little bit of I mean it's just vegetables, but I might as well add something to it to make it taste a little better. Alright, now we just need to add a little bit of water. Like the grill is good and hot.
Remember now, we want to keep these red in the middle again, otherwise they're going to be uh, tough and gamey. And you know, like this one here, this is like a small, this part here is that smaller line that I showed you in there. And a lot of the deer, I mean, this was a good, you know, fairly good sized deer, so I got some decent sized meat here, but in some parts of the country, the deer are smaller, or you shoot a smaller deer, you can take and cut these, instead of like one inch thick, cut them two inches thick, and then cut them all the, almost all the way through in that center, and then just butterfly them out. And Zach and I have done that several times, and it's really good that way too. Okay, those are ready to go. vegetables are boiling really good but you know how when you boil stuff it gets it foams up on top especially like I don't know if you make um, macaroni and cheese at home and you still do it in the pan like I do it it'll foam up and foam over if you just take and put a little bit of oil in there it'll stop that foaming so it doesn't foam over anyway it'll slow it way down all right guys well I'm just gonna make me up a couple of pieces of toast and a glass of milk. Boy, the vegetables smell really good. And I'm going to eat some dinner. Thanks a lot for watching the Joe and Zach Survival Channel.